What is going on, Shaniacs? How are you doing out there today? It is a gorgeous November day today. I'm actually wearing a t-shirt today. It's so nice and toasty outside. I don't know if it's above 32 or not, but I don't care. It still feels good. So anyway, we we're heading over to pick up the bobbin. I got a, I got a call from uh, one of my contacts who does a lot of work over at a church. And she has some metal she wants us to pick up, so let's go get bobbin. Hey, is this your bat cave? Uh-huh. Is this your bat cave? This is it. <laughs> oh, for me? For me? You got that little short one. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you. I picked that the other night when you didn't go out. You picked it in the trash? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Over by your house. Half a block from your house. Wow. Okay, guys. I didn't want to film when I was in the church out of disrespect. But. So we got some posts here. Steel posts. Aluminum signs. Which, of course, will separate those. Another couple of aluminum signs, some mailboxes. This here is all brass, uh, brass frame anyway. So yeah, nice little haul. I can't believe that she had this much stuff. Usually they just have a few little things, so that's cool. So they're good. This sign here too, if we can get it out of the rivets. And Bob's figured out how to get the rivets off easy enough. Just like that. Okay, here it comes. This one too. Yep. All right. Nice job, Bob. Hey, nice job, Shane. You earned your pea soup tonight. All right. <laughs> well, guys, this is going to be the last time you see the truck. We just sold it to a junker. I don't even want to tell you how much for. And uh, so we're going to get the important stuff out of here and walk away from this. And honestly, it feels pretty good to say goodbye to this truck. So, bye, truck. Say bye, Bob. Bye, truck. <laughs> I canceled the insurance. That's going to save me 60 bucks a month. So we ran into storage locker. It is 10 by 16 for 75 bucks a month. Resale, eBay stuff's going to go on this side. Scrap metal sorting is going to go on this side. So that's the short term plan. Aw, oh, there's a monkey. Hug a monkey. Home. Nelson's new home. That sad, so sad. Well, everybody, it has been slim pickings tonight. Not a good night for junkin'. This is actually one of the first full ones we've come across. Shred. At this point, I'll take it. I'm not desperate. All right, Bobby found some stuff. I'll take him. Got 
Garfield's in there. Nope, there ain't gonna be no way. Sure. Just take. <laughs> I think this thing. What's in there? Underworld, all four movies. And disc two. <laughs> no, disc one. How's that one back? Bachelorette. Ooh. Okay, we'll take that one. Runaway Bride. Three rounds. It's in there. Almost Christmas. Almost. Negative four. Negative the compass. That's an Xbox. Xbox. Xbox, okay. Alright. The longest week. Nothing. We're on the $5 store, Garfield, Runaway Bride, The Bachelorette, and Bruce Almighty. Uh, get them on the store here, and if you want them, log on. I'll put the uh, link in the description, and I'll put it on the screen here. So those will be available for 5 bucks if you're interested. Great, there it goes. All right. Nice coat. We have metal. I'd like to thank the Academy for winning the number one YouTube award. Goes to Shaman. Goes to Shaman TV. Hair rollers. Oh, you got the bracelet? Yeah. Oh, all right. It's a stretchy bracelet. Five quart mini soup pot. That's brand new. Huh. We'll see them. Do we need a tote for the storage locker? So, yes, yeah, let's keep that for copper or whatever. Sells a countertop. Oh, there's direct TV in there. Yeah? I'm gonna have to get a picker, man. Oh, yeah, it's a stainless steel sink. All right. Right? Very nice. Let's grab the big boy. Temperature's starting to drop. Temperature's dropping out. Is that what you said? That's what I said. to the metal collection. You done yet? No, not yet. I am. There you go. There we go, nice. I don't think so.
shirt on already. Very nice. All right, looks like Bobby got some bed rails there out of the dumpster. Oh. What'd you find? I don't know what it is. It's a bed frame. Well guys, welcome back to the show. Bob and I are sitting here in my dining room. See that box over there? That's half full. I just got this one here completely empty. And check this out. This is what's in there. We, we thought we were buying all wrestling magazines. So this is wrestling, wrestling, and wrestling. However, so uh, there are a couple of adult ones in there, but some Sports Illustrated bikini issues. Uh, these wrestling ones are really, really old. I wanted to show you one here. There's Hulk Hogan. That shows you how, I mean, he wasn't even in the top. He's down in the bottom half, the smallest picture. So I don't know what year that is. This is 82. Newsweek 82. Oh, okay, and here's the Newsweek with The Rock. And so, yeah. And then of course over here, my personal favorite, Batman. Batman. And then comic scene, of course, with who? Batman. <laughs> so we have two more boxes like these out in the truck or in the van. And so uh, we paid 20 bucks a box and, and took all four of them. So uh, we're going to have some fun going through it. There's a lot of Chicago Cubs stuff in here. I'm going to show you one in particular. Like there's the 85 yearbook World Series from 1986. St. Louis Cardinals from 79. St. Louis Cardinals from 84. And then here's a Chicago Cubs Wrigley Field official program, 15 cents. Looking at the ads on the back, this thing is really, really, oh, here it is here, 1974. Wow. Official program, 1974. And then this is from our local stadium from 1982. We had a Quad City Cubs here. And uh, so, interesting stuff, man. So anyway, we're going through this right now. And as we find um, things that are worth money or special, we'll let you know. Behind that one original program, there were three other programs. 1974, 1975. Uh, this one, I think probably with the stars, it's probably 76, but uh, yeah, 76. So, four programs. I think they're kind of the neatest thing we found. Um, but Bob and I spent, what, three hours working on magazines and maybe got through a quarter. A quarter. Yeah, so anyway, we got to do more tomorrow. Okay, everybody, this is day two of cleaning out the auction van. And uh, this is one box I paid two fifty four, dollars And uh, you saw a few things out of there. I haven't even gone through it yet. The reason I paid money for it was for the scale. Uh, first, I thought maybe Bob could use it for his, give him kind of a semi-accurate weight for his shipping packages, but uh, no, I can tell it's not going to work. But still, that's probably a good $10 bill on eBay all day long. Uh, and then this here, I'm not even sure what this is. This is what really piqued my interest. What does this say? It's got some words, Felix. I'll have to maybe Google that. But... Not sure what that would go on, like a, I don't know, I have no clue. Um, all right, got kind of a me vintage mirrored back candle holder. You know, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 bucks, who knows. This will probably just go to the, I'll double check these of course, but I'll probably just put this into the scrap metal, this other candle holder. Uh, this is probably totally useless video now. What else we got in here? Of course, we got the chicken we showed before. I'm hoping that maybe there's a pair. But even if not, that's a cast iron rooster. Uh, you know, that could be five to ten dollars on eBay, maybe. Uh, we got a stamp here that says "Bullock Garages" <laughs> from Camp of Copy Max. That's probably a zero. 
All right, got some office stuff it looks like. Zero scrap metal. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here's an old watercolor set. These can go for decent money. You would be surprised people collect these. And there it is, wow. Not bad, not bad at all. That's a nice find. What do we got here? We got saw knife, miracle serrated edge saw knife. Is it in there? It is in there. All right, here it is, folks. Oh, the miracle. Miracle serrated edge, new, lightning fast. Wouldn't you want this in your kitchen, everyone? Uh, I will put up on the screen if that is worth anything at all. All right, looks like we're gonna have a lot or a group of hole punches. Why does anybody have to have so many hole punches? Well, who knows? There could be teachers out there looking for uh, looking for a class. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm grasping this rough. So once you get a quantity of them. Might be able to get five or ten for them. All these stamps. Some more. <laughs> wow. More pa paper punches. Unbelievable. Well, that's an oldie right there. Look at that. There's even more of them yet. My goodness. I've never seen so many paper punches in one spot. Now, here's an advertising dealer. For Swiss Valley, that may have some value, three, four dollars. Who knows? So these are these colors. They've fallen out of the box, and then here's the lid. Sketch of oil crayons. So that's good to know because I think those are desirable somewhat. You know, they may have a value. Again, I'll put them up here on the screen. So if we, uh, that's worth anything, I'll let you know, and I'll show you here in just a second how many crayons we got. Look at that. That is a major wine decorker. Wow, that is heavy duty, boys. Crazy. Oh, look at that. Brand new in the box. <laughs> Why do people need so many? Gosh, there's just a ton of these. I'll have to show you the final pile when I'm done. Alright, check this out. Auto vanity mirror. Flip and see. That's still in the original packaging. That could be worth something. I don't know. Again, I'll put that up on the screen if it is. Auto vending mirror. Ceiling wax. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Well, that's something. I know these are worth something. People used to use these on crap looking too. You know, you put the wax on there and then you push it down. So we have a T. We have a justice scale. We have a, what is that? G? and a ladybug. Well, that's kind of cool. I bet those go on today. Okay, so I came up with a count of 26 uh, hole punches, believe it or not. And as I was cleaning out the box, there is a Wonder Bread uh, ruler. And then the schedule, I found some more of the crayons. So that's almost a complete set. And then this was kind of neat. This is uh, for Farmall. Remember, farm all the tractor, employee uh, credit union. And you can see on the inside, it is a ruler. So it must like, you must be able to straighten it out and use it as a ruler, like one of those, remember those bracelets from the 80s you flick over your wrist? So, yeah, and then there was this here. I haven't looked at this yet, but combination pickle and relish server. Oh, it's already broke. I broke it. Oh, well, that'll go in the trash. Anyway, pretty cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our storage locker. We just picked this up after we got rid of the truck last week. And no, we have not put our lock on it yet. And it's still here. All of our gorgeous treasures are still here. So, today, that is the plan. Make enough noise for you. One more to go here. All right, so our next task should we choose to accept it are the blow molds. Guys, here's the first blow mold set. It's the three wise men. I'm going to probably break these up into three individual pieces, but also in there 
was the uh, donkey. So I'm gonna get him photographed and listed first. All right, next we got the Illuminated Sheep by Empire. All right, next up we have the Illuminated Cow by Empire. And uh, now that I'm looking at him, I see he's missing an ear. I wonder if it's still in the box. It is. All right, cool. We're, we're lucky. All right, next up we have the Illuminated Camel by Empire. All right, and finally we got the 28 inch Shepherd. So I'm sure he came with one, and then I've got a backup one right here that I haven't taken a picture of yet. And I got the original one in the box right here. So we got three total sheep. I'm gonna sell this one with one as a set, and I'm gonna sell the other sheep separately. All right, so we got the three Shepherds, we're gonna sell individually, the camel, the shepherd, the extra sheep, the third sheep, and the cow. We paid $85 for all of it. And right here on the screen, I'm going to put up what I think they will sell for. So I'm very happy to get them out of the van because tonight I want to go trash picking or garbage picking. So yeah, glad that this is done. Woo! Okay, we are heading down to the Milan Auction. Yes, yet again, we are going back to the Milan Auction because we had so much stuff. We had to leave a few pieces behind. One of which is a really nice metal cabinet. Uh, when I, I'll show it to you before I tell you what I paid for it. But we bought this cabinet, or I should say, I bought this cabinet when Bob was out of the room because I thought this would be good for our storage locker to hold tools and sort of that sort of thing in there. So let's go on and pick that stuff up and I'll show you what we're after. I was telling you about. It's a nice old filing cabinet. It's got the smaller drawers on top, which I like for tools and stuff. And the bottom three for storage and whatever. That's just somewhere, but you know, heavy duty old cabinet. Head. But anyway, um, I paid two dollars for it, so I thought that was a really great deal. Can't really go wrong. Uh, definitely gonna be a nice thing to help us to keep our storage locker organized, so yeah. All right, that looks right good. I like that. I like that right there. That's good. We had to pick up, we had to pick this uh, big box up here because we didn't have room for it. And you know, I was not really wanting Bob to buy these, but he bought them. And you know, home co, husband and wife, you know. I don't know if they got value or not. I remember these being really popular. Denim days, you know. I don't know. You guys let me know. I think I should put those, like, group them together in pairs of two or three in the $5 store. Maybe that's what I'll do. You know, this is like some type of a bank. With Snoopy. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. What else we got in here? Got some black and white photographs. What do they, what do they call these? Card photographs or something like that. But it's like, like a, someone's house back in the day. Mason City, Iowa. Cresco, Iowa. So again, I don't know what to do with these. I mean, maybe there's a market, maybe there's not. Maybe a $5 store. I don't know. You let me know. Okay? You tell me. And then we got some utensils. Well, again, these used to be, you know, go pretty good. Well, that's just a decorative piece right there. A decorative whisk. You know, maybe I'll throw that in the five dollar store. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with half this stuff. An old whisker. Whisker? <laughs> old whisk. Hey guys, uh, it is now about five o'clock. I am gonna go out and do some dumpster diving slash trash picking. Uh, it's gonna get dark real soon, so I'm gonna shoot this with my uh, cell phone camera because it picks up pretty good in the dark as opposed to the GoPro. But anyway, guys, Bob is not feeling well. He's having challenges with his tooth still. So we're going to be going out and doing this alone. So wish me luck and let's get to it. I've seen some printers down here. All right. Now think about these printers too. 
Some of them have that feeding tray in there. And you can sell those feeding trays on eBay for pretty good money. Well guys, I've been all over this town and all I got were two stinking printers. Not good. So we're gonna head up to another area. And if that doesn't pan out, maybe we'll do a little dumpster diving on the way, who knows. Well, there's a little excitement for the night, because I'll tell you what, the dumpsters have been bad, and so has the trash picking. Okay, guys. Finally came across a little something here. Carpet shampoo. -er. Finally, something, something. This little treasure pile right there. Dude, there's a chainsaw in there. See what's inside that chainsaw case. Oh, that's cracked. Too bad. These are worth a lot of money on eBay. Almost like to get that hardware off of there. I think that's gonna be worth taking and taking that off and selling that on eBay. Come on, baby. There's a computer. Keyboards. All right, I'm just going to take them with me and cut the cords later. Oh my, I guess so, yes. Metal traps, excellent. Small cords. All right, look at that. Be happy to uh, turn those into scrap metal. Awesome. Well, everybody, we started this one with some trash picking and we're gonna end it with some trash picking. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed looking through the auction stuff. I hope you uh, had a good time uh, trash picking with us and dumpster diving with us. But uh, yeah, so I don't see much there either. So anyway, guys, thanks for so much for tuning in. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, everybody, and we will definitely see you at the next dumpster. Peace out, and have a great night, everyone.